So this video is of our 2023 mountain vacation in Cashiers, North Carolina. On the way up there, we obviously had to stop at Cracker Barrel. And we got to our room around 5.30 or 6 o'clock. The next day, my grandpa and I went horseback riding on a mountain trail. The name of the horse that my grandpa rode was Orion, and my horse's name was Casey, and he was their tallest horse, which was really scary being that high up <laughs> off the ground. The ride started off really cool, but about 20 minutes up the mountain, all of our horses got spooked and took off running, which was terrifying considering none of us had any training on how to ride a horse, especially at those speeds. And one of the employees did end up getting thrown off the back of her horse and she broke her hip. And we had to wait for a tractor to come up the mountain to get her, which was very scary, a little traumatizing, and I probably won't never ride a horse again. After that crazy experience, my grandpa and I drove up the mountain a few miles to go see this waterfall. After we went back down the trail of the mountain, we met up with my grandma and my mom at some of the stores that were close by and we did a little bit of shopping. But we did no shopping in this beautiful vintage store because there was nothing in there under $500. This is where we ate dinner at and it was so good. I really loved this place. After dinner, we rode around the mountain and we saw this little pull-off area that had a trail that led to a waterfall. So me and my grandpa decided to walk down to it and it was really pretty and there were a lot of people that were actually in the water and I decided to get in there too and it was freezing cold and I ended up stepping on a thorn and it stabbed my heel and we just yanked it out. My foot is sore today but I'm okay. On Sunday, we met with my uncle Rainer and ate lunch with him. He lives up in Asheville, so it only made sense to go see him while we were here in the mountains. We ate at Sagebrush Steakhouse. Um, out of a 10, I would rate it a 2. It just wasn't that good. But then after dinner, we were driving in this cute little town and we saw a Christmas store and we had to go in. And this town was so cute and historic. And we went in another vintage store that was downtown. It was really cute, but also really expensive. So we didn't stay in there for long. And the last thing that we did was drive around Glenville Lake. 